third gen convertible man y'all know i have to look at this Let's sit here and look at this thing all day long. What's up and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bill by Ray. If you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe for those who are returning. I appreciate you for right coming back right and watching here, the video. Give it a thumbs up if right you like it. Drive. Share with a friend. Definitely will go a long way. Here's a cool little custom van. I got the engine and got a nice clean benchy k5 nice I like how they put the radio flyer cool little snap-on truck right here they got the radio flyer on their trailer what's up guys man we just left the donut shop about to head out to long beach swap meet get y'all some content Just made it to the Swami, about to find a parking spot. I'm gonna jump out. Looking pretty full today. I missed last month, but we back. Look at that old Chevette. All right, guys, so we just got in, man. For free. Check out this. Uh, K5 right here, nice, clean, and low. We'll walk through. Yes, sir. We're going up, man. Somebody calling me right now. Hello? Hello? What's that? During the, got the second gen Trans Am, like a 70, 71. A lot of Mustangs over there. This van pretty clean. We're giving y'all raw, uncut footage today. We ain't editing, we ain't blocking no music out. None of that. Nice old school Chevrolet. Thing is on airbags all the way down, sitting on the floor. Got this first gen Pontiac right here. Firebird, nice and clean. And it's a stick shift, man. If y'all don't know, I'm a big fan of stick shifts. The C10 right here. Got an LS swap in there, nice and clean. Nice, clean LS swap. Got a Chevelle right here with a big block in there. Hello, how you doing? Fat tires in the back, hood right here. This thing is nice. It's for sale. Hummer right there, man. When I get rich, I'm gonna buy me one of those. <laughs> nice clean Bel Air right here. LS Swap, nice and clean. I believe this is the one we seen last time. We came a few months back. It's Malibu. Convertible. 63 or 64 Malibu Chevelle. It's like a 63 or 64. Yeah. Another clean. The G body right here. Buick. Another one over there. Clean Trans Am riding by. 62 Impala right there. Got the 63 convertible. The Elko rolling through. All the Ford trucks. 
check out this day. Another Malibu Chevelle right there. What we got here? Some little four cylinder. This a Datsun? No, it's, I don't know. What's that? A little wagon. What the heck is this? Yep. 1967 Opal accent 8 18 grand for it. Cool little wagon. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in a long time. That's the dude I'll be seeing. Third gen convertible, man. Y'all know I have to look at this. This the same one we seen last time, but it's my motivation right here. Factory style radio up in there. I could sit here and look at this thing all day long. Super clean, super clean. Way to do my short bed. Here go your truck, man. K5 T top cutlass. Two door Tahoe. This one is clean. Elko, it's the camper shell you like. <laughs> that one, that one, hot rod it out. At the post, it look crazy. Like an Impala, but got a post. Chevy truck. It's a five window. Thirty one hundred. Couple Elko's right there. Another first gen Firebird. What the heck is this thing right here? Check this thing out right here. This is nice. Something I've never seen before for sure. It's kind of like the blue that I had on my Harley. I think it's nice. I don't know if it's custom or they actually made one of these. I'm not sure. It's pretty cool though. So the Chevrolet Thriftmaster Deluxe. CTSV wagon right there sounding good. Mustang like our project and it's a six it's a stick shift definitely digging that I'm not digging the car man gotta have a fastback if it's a Mustang the only way I could take it not a Ford guy anyways convertible Nova this thing is like a mini Impala right here to me Even that's a four, four speed stick in the floor. All the cars up here stick just today. There we go another Mustang. I think it's turbocharged. Big intercooler up front. Got like some fender flares on there. Got an LS in there. Looking through the vents, I can see the coil packs and the oil cover. And this thing is also a stick shift. It's crazy. I'm gonna have to look into that. 
I got a Mopar right here. 1967 Dodge Cornette RT. Another Mustang and a convertible. Nova right there. Mustang and El Camino right here. That Mustang had a turbo, uh, mm -hmm. turbo LS in there. Mm -hmm. Seeing the coil pack through the thing. The little right hand drive thing right here, man. Love right hand drive. Little rat rod. K5. Another K5. Nice clean red K5 right here. Got El Camino's over here. Original looking 289 Mustang. That's the one we seen when we first came in on our last video. It's a nice clean LS swap right here, turbocharged. Nah, I wish. <laughs> turbocharged LS. Airbags. Nice clean custom chassis. Clean, clean. This thing is on the floor. Impala wagon. A lot of nice engraving on the engine, valve covers, control arms. This thing is clean right here, old school 37. Impala, 32 Ford, got this Chevelle right here, and check out this little bug, Dre, this is the bug right here, man, we've been talking about, got the VW engine in the back, man, you already know, we, you know, my boy been talking about these bugs, checking them out, definitely trying to build some off-road and stuff. Pretty cool. The 71 Chevelle right here. Nice, clean. Got an El Camino right here. Right next to it, nice and clean. It's got the two headlights in the front. It's like a 70 El Camino. Here go another little Ford. Look like you got a small block Chevy inside of here. Then here's a fastback Mustang, man. It's the only way, man, I'm coming with it. This thing is a stick shift as well. Cannot wait to get them quarter panels in that inner structure. So we could get it on ours. Another nice clean bug right here. 5.0 Mustang. We're gonna look at those. Another bug right there. Hold on around. Pretty clean Chevelle. I mean, El Camino. I said Chevelle. It's a big block inside of there. Fat tires on the back. It's that Nova from the other side. A lot of Mustangs up here. See? Another Nova. Another 70 El Camino right here. T-type 
Regal. First gen Camaro, this is a 67, got an LS swap in there. Car accessories, car intake on there. Thing is nice and clean. A third gen right there, man. With an LS swap in there, nice and clean. Check that out when we go on the other side. It's nice. Is he on? I talked to him. All right, I'm taking us all in the cars. All right, guys, we're on the other side. This is that IROC we saw. Got an LS swap in there. Check this thing out. Our first swap was in one of these cars. I'll be posting some footage of that one day. Gotta dig through and find the content. But now we're in the swap meet part. This is where they sell all different types of things. You can come out here. Whatever your project you're working on, you may find somebody out here selling something you may need, new or used. Got a lot of different vendors out here. So we're gonna just walk through here. We walked through most of the cars already. That was in the uh, parking lot. Now we're gonna do a quick walk, walk through. Oh, that's why I meet. All right, guys, we just stopped right here at one of the vendors. He sell all the caps, all the rally caps, hood caps, different type of caps for old cars. He got the uh, different logos that go in the middle of the center caps. My uncle trying to get uh, some adapters, A-Lug adapters. He sells spacers and everything. This is a business card. We're gonna take that with us. All right, guys, we just found this guy up here. He got a lot of different uh, cutoff wheels. This is his card right here, contact info. We just got us a cutoff wheel and attachment that we could hook on the drill or use for the die grinder. All right, thanks a lot, man. I come back and I flap this one. So we're still walking through here. Alright guys, we just ran across this van right here, it's a Ford, but this thing is lifted up, looking amazing, just like ours. Man, we definitely gonna get ours to that stage one day. It's a little bit of motivation, I needed to see. We're gonna continue walking through here. My uncle over here checking out something. This is all the front suspension. You can upgrade the old cars, put the newer style uh, suspension on there with racket pins and stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's the wire wheel. That's a couple. With that on the grinder, gonna be going fast as heck. Ripping it. 
That one? Oh, damn. We're going to be cutting through the uh, thing. Oh, that's a big one. We're going to be getting something like this to hit the bottom of that Mustang when we flip it over. They huge for sure. Here's our cool little custom van. They got the engine in the back. It's crazy. The rear end is back there. The engine is backwards going to a gearbox, I guess that's converting the uh, power to go back to that bottom and making it go back the other way. It's definitely cool. Just gave me an idea. It's crazy. Definitely got the crowd, man. A lot of people is interested in checking this thing out. It's pretty crazy, y'all. Wow. <laughs> 1961 Chevy van. Here go the contact info. Anybody interested? Got Trump on the side of it. Cut to make that the front or that damn that's a real what the hell? that's a real truck the real uh Peterbilt Damn man huh nice man that's crazy oh this is a custom built truck wow all the pictures and details built it to look like the real thing. It started as this. These are all the steps you went through to build it. Who built it for you? Ah, crazy. Everything was built customized. Nice, nice truck, man. I love customized. This thing looks absolutely like the real deal, man. The mini Peterbilt. They designed it, fabricated it, made it look like the the real thing. Definitely the type of stuff is gonna be coming to our channel. That's crazy, that mug look good. They put a lot of time into uh, doing that. Alright guys, last time we came we didn't go over here where the vendors are. It looked like they put up a new bathroom and stuff up here. Definitely been a while since the pandemic. The last video that I had uh, recorded up here was the first time coming back. But today we wind up walking through, checking out the vendors and seeing what they had out here for sale. K5 right here, got a nice clean benchy. K5 nice. I like how they put the radio flyer. Cool little snap on truck right here. They got the radio flyer on their trailer. Make it look like a big wagon. Most 
uh, for a second gen, like Camaro or something? 69 Camaro? Oh, okay. This thing is on airbags. Nice. About the end of the day. 6500 for that bench. My uncle just asked them. Everybody is starting to pick up all their stuff. They about to uh, get up out of here. We almost had the back. Everybody's starting to pick up stuff and leave. All right, guys, we didn't walk all the way through this thing. Now we headed back. We just left from by the back gate. That'll be all for this video until next time.